Hello all dance safarians, today let's take a look at my sharks collection So let's get right into it, okay? So the first one right here, it's a Megalodon from PNSO It's a beautiful figure, I love this a lot Alright, next up, we have a shark And this was actually purchased from like Toys R Us, I think And this one right here, it's a pretty cool figure It has a movable head, movable jaw Fins as well, the tail can be moved. Yeah, I got this like quite recently, so it's pretty cool. This it's a collecte basking shark, looks really nice with the mouth wide open. Very high quality figure right here. This is our latest figure. Yep, this is actually a Safari LTD great white shark, although the face looks a little bit like a goblin shark. Alright, next up. A collecte scallop hammerhead shark. You can see the head is actually very unique. It has like little um, curves and bumps on the hammerhead. This is a collecte figure. This is a megalodon one which I own for many years. Yep, we got this like a few years back. You can see it's plenty of teeth. It's a Safari LTD 2013 figure. A whale shark, this was our very first whale shark figure, 2011 collecte whale shark figure. It's kind of like, you know, warp, but it's still a pretty good figure. Another pretty new figure, this is actually a hammerhead shark baby, a 2006 figure. It's actually quite, quite old, I would say. This one, I'm not too sure whether this is a bootleg or is this like an original, like, I think it should be a bootleg because the words are actually like, blood yep so it's a great white shark it's a goblin shark this is actually from a national geographic set not the highest quality figure but you know it's very cool to find like a goblin shark figure because it's kind it's kind of rare to find it all right another basking shark figure i think this was also from the um national geographic set this one right here is from Mojo. I've no idea what this is. Is this like a... I'm not too sure what kind of shark this is. Is it like a white pointer shark? I'm not too sure. This is a hammerhead shark, you know, similar to the um the shark with the articulation. This is actually a pretty cool shark with movable head, fins and tail. And this one right here, it's a really huge megalodon figure, okay? You can see has plenty of scars on his body. Really nice figure. Next, we have a Megamorph Shark. I think this is like one of my most favorite shark figures because the Megamorph Shark is actually um, very unique and um, they are actually very rare to find. You can only find them like really deep down in the ocean waters. Okay, and um, another great white shark figure. There's no brand to this, very nice figure. Um, Safari LTD Great White Shark A2006 You can see There are like different types of um, You know Great Whites from Safari LTD And they have They have changed quite a lot Yeah This is like a 1996 And this is a 2016 They changed quite a lot But I really like this one a lot The older one Another Hammerhead Shark Okay This is a 1991 Safari LTD figure Wow Very old figure not too sure where this was from, but this is also a great white. Looks kind of I mean, intimidating, I must say. Basking shark from Safari LTD. Um, it's a 2007 figure. This one right here, it's a Peppo figure, but I'm not too sure whether this is an original Peppo shark or it's a fake one, I'm not too sure. Oceanic white tip reef shark. Oceanic white tip shark, I mean, um, very cool figure not too long ago, 2019 figure from Safari LTD. This is a Mako shark, I, must, uh, I think so, yeah, a 2017 Mako shark. You can see the body shape is like really aerodynamic. This is a guitar fish, if I'm not wrong, okay, from Schleich, awesome figure as well. This one it should be a short fin Mako shark, yeah, from Safari LTD. Oh no, it's actually from Collecte 2014 figure. Nice, you can see. Uh, I really love the body shape. It looks like, you know, really aerodynamic and it's, it's like curved. Looks really cool. 
a wheel shark that we have purchased not too long ago. It's a 1991 Safari LTD figure. Yep, it's a pretty old figure, but we have just got this like a couple of weeks back. Yeah, beautiful. I love the spots on his body. This is probably a carpet fish. I have no idea. It came along in the National Geographic set. You know, similarly to this one, which is a fruit shark, which is also another, you know, very obscure species. What is this? A zebra shark? I think all leopard shark. Oh, it's a leopard shark from um, Safari LTD 2007. Really nice one. This one, it should be a lemon shark. Pretty old figure. I've kept this for, um, you know, many years and um, it looks kind of old. 2016 Safari LTD figure. This came along with the set that I've purchased, you know, the one with the articulation. And this is a whale shark. Looks pretty cool. I mean, I love how you can actually move the tail, the flippers, and um, the jaw, and um, the head. It's pretty cool. Yeah, real shark. This one right here should be a bull shark. Yes, one of the more aggressive sharks. They are actually even more aggressive than a great white. And this is from Mojo, a tiger shark. I mean, you can, just, you can easily tell by um, the stripes on, the, on its body. 1993. Tiger shark, beautiful one. This one right here it should be a nurse shark, and um, this is also from Safari LTD, a 2015 figure, not too long ago, like you know, um, seven years back. I mean, yeah, I mean, relatively not too long as compared to the 1990s figure. Um, another figure from Mojo, I have no idea what this is, so I really need the help of you guys to, to, to name this, okay? All right, next up, we have a um, blue shark. Yes, this is, this is actually known as a Blue Shark. I mean, if you take a look at the name, Blue Shark 1993, Safari LTD figure. Yeah, pretty cool. Sawfish, I think this is supposed to be a shark if I'm not wrong, okay? A 1994 figure. Here, we have another great white. A Hammerhead Shark. This, it's a Hammerhead Shark 1996 version. Tiger Shark, yes, this is a um, Tiger Shark from Safari LTD. The Great White. This is a Sand Tiger Shark, really nice one. And a um, Mega Mouth Shark. This also came along in the um, National Geographic set. Thrasher Shark, this is a 2014 figure. All right, next we have a Black Tip Reef Shark, a 2012 figure. Yep, from Safari LTD. Bonnet Head Shark, which is very closely related to a Hammerhead um, 2016 Safari LTD. This came along in the National Geographic set, so I have no idea what this is. Probably a carpet shark. It's one on the floor, let me pick it up. Yeah, it's a sand tiger shark fallen off. And um, this is a warbler gang. I think it is also a type of shark. This is from a shrike. And um, this is a zebra shark. 2007 Safari LTD. Nice. This one should be a grey reef shark. Yes, the stripe. 2018 figure. Okay. And a shark ray from Safari LTD. 2007. A couple of mini sharks right here. So, yeah, I, I got this from like a mini pack set. You know, there's, there's really no point for us to like go through each and single one of because most of them are similar. But this one right here, um, I'm not too sure. It, it could be a um, blue shark. I, I'm not too sure. This is from the National Geographic set. This is definitely a sawfish. Um, not too sure what this is. I need the help of you guys, probably. This is a bamboo shark. 2019 figure from Safari LTD. Another miniature red white. This is probably a shark ray, a small version. Another carpet shark, probably another warbler gang. This is a zebra shark. Yeah. There's no brand to the. Oh, it's actually a collective figure, 2013. I didn't know that. And our last figure of the day is actually this white tip reef shark. Nice. All right. So this is basically my sharks collection. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, next video we are going to make a whales and dolphins collection. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Thanks for watching this. I'm gonna put all the sharks back into the box. So please bear with me. Because some of you actually like me to pack 
all my shocks into the box. Yeah, this is how I actually keep all the shocks. I, I don't really arrange them neatly, just put them into the box because, you know, it's much more convenient if I want to make a video with them. Okay, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of messy, and um, sometimes the fins and the tail they'll be slightly warped, but I'm fine with it. I'm not really like you know too fast about that because um, yeah, I mean, I, I do collect them, but I don't expect them to be in like the best conditions, like you know how I keep my dinosaur figures. Yep, I mean, if you guys do not know, I have the main channel, then surprise. Go and check it out. I mean, if you're here just for the shocks, you can probably check out my dinosaur videos as well, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.